Monsieur Lu, this has been a great event. Mm -hmm. I can tell there has been so much detail, a lot of preparation that went mm -hmm. into it. Yes. Can you tell us about the thinking and the preparation behind? The eventual purpose at the, uh, I think at the, in the very beginning is to enhance the mutual learning and mutual understanding between different civilizations. And this time it bears some special significance because uh, you know that uh, President Xi Jinping put forward the proposal of uh, Global uh, Civilization Initiative uh, just uh, in March. So that really uh, brought a lot of um, talks and also uh, discussions on this topic. I think that the uh, in order to secure peace and development, people do need to have civilizational exchanges. So that because building understanding can be a kind of uh, uh, promotion to the uh, possibility of ensuring lasting peace. So as you can uh, probably heard at the uh, opening ceremony, you know, each and every, day, every speaker really spoke in very uh, favor of the proposal and so of the initiative. So uh, that means that we have full confidence that we're going to have more people supporting this idea and we're going to pr promote, it, promote it across the world so that uh, people will have a deeper understanding. And what is more important, that countries can work together to implement this initiative. Minister, I was talking about lasting peace. Mm -hmm. I was really impressed by your speech that was given a few days ago mm -hmm. at the World Peace Conference. You mm -hmm. said, if we encapsulate mm -hmm. the human history of past thousands mm -hmm. of years into just 24 mm -hmm. hours, yes. 23 out of these 24 hours, That's we're right. at war. Yes. What is the special significance of such civilizational dialogue amongst mm -hmm. cultures and societies mm -hmm. taking place mm -hmm. right now, right here? What's the value of culture in stopping wars? The mankind has always been confronted with three basic issues or challenges. Number one is the issue or the need to survive. And that relates to development because only by development can you really survive. So that's why, uh, you know, in the very, the very first global initiative put forward by President Xi is Global Development Initiative. And second challenge that we have always been faced with is, of course, peace and war. Sometimes we have peace, sometimes war, but unfortunately, we have more wars than peace. So I think that President Xi also put forward the uh, idea of uh, Global uh, Security Initiative, which really stress more common and endeavor on uh, making sure that the peace will be lasting. But unfortunately, we are seeing wars and conflicts in the world. So I think that brings to the third challenge, when we have more understanding between civilizations and nations, then we have a better chance of avoiding wars, because wars are very often a result of kind of barbarism. And it's very often a result sometimes of misunderstanding and miscalculation. So if we have more such exchanges and uh, cooperation and mutual learning, people will have, show, will have to show more tolerance, more inclusiveness, more understanding. So that gives uh, peace a better chance.